where we'll now talk a little bit about a very beautiful and important class of matrices, symmetric matrices. These are square matrices that equal their own transpose. So there are as many ways to describe symmetric matrices as there are ways to describe the operation of the transpose itself. For example, you could say that a matrix is symmetric like this one if its rows are the same as its columns. For example, row 3 of this matrix is 3, 5, 6 and column 3 of this matrix is 3, 5, 6 as well. And this relationship holds for all the rows and columns of this matrix. Alternatively, you could say that a matrix is symmetric if, were you to flip it with respect to the main diagonal, it remains itself. So it is symmetric with respect to reflection about the main diagonal. Or you could say that the corresponding entries across the diagonal are equal. And it is this symmetry that gives these matrices their name and makes them so visually appealing. So that's the definition of symmetric matrices. Now the surprising fact is that symmetric matrices are extraordinarily important. I call that fact surprising because the concept of the transpose fell on us out of nowhere. When I introduced the transpose, I explained a little bit how the transpose is used. But this in no way anticipates the dramatic importance of symmetric matrices. Symmetric matrices are everywhere in applied mathematics and beyond. Symmetric matrices have a number of surprising properties that we're going to learn in this course. Truly surprising and truly valuable. Now if I were to summarize in a single sentence what makes symmetric matrices so omnipresent, it's the fact that they're frequently used in expressions for potential energy. So all physical systems governed by a principle of least action or any energy considerations hinge, their description hinges on symmetric matrices. That's their importance. So that's something very much to look forward to when we discuss applications later on, the, later on in the course. Now we're going to spend just a couple more videos talking about symmetric matrices and then we'll part with them only to come back to symmetric matrices when we talk about distances and transformations in the plane and the three-dimensional space. So they will be all over the place. At some point they'll rejoin us and stay with us for the rest of our technical careers.